All right, guys, just wanted to show you uh, my homemade universal power supply I just finished. Uh, it's in a Sears Craftsman uh, box. I uh, don't know what exactly was in it, but um, I just uh, used it. Um, start over here, I guess. Uh, this light right here lets you know that it's actually plugged in or not. Okay, uh, this switch right here turns on the LEDs, and this light here will light up. And these are on uh, the 5 volt reference uh, signal on this motherboard, and we'll get to that here in a minute. So, this middle switch here. Man, it was like really bright. But um, this switch here turns it all on. And that fan I have to dial down to about 5 volts because it's just way too loud. <laughs> but uh, this one turns the motherboard power supply on. And right now we have an input voltage from the power supply of 25.2 volts. Uh, it's supposed to be a 24 volt output on the... Uh, motherboard but that's all right and right here we have uh, intake holes for the fan and we have exhaust holes on the side here this way it'll the air will go right across the motherboard and out these holes here and also there's two holes right here for the uh, voltage regulator I put in and it's a step up and step down voltage regulator uh, here's a screw for it right there uh, all you have to do is turn that uh, counterclockwise or clockwise to decrease and uh, or increase the voltage. And uh, this light right here tells you the amperage uh, output. Uh, this is the uh, output side, um, negative and positive. And these do unscrew so that you can pinch a wire in between there or whatever. Um, this switch right here uh, is actually what sends the voltage out. Um, so when I turn this on, uh, and I got this hooked up over here, it's my LiPo balance charger. Uh, I charge up my LiPo batteries with it. And, yeah, got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so right now it's drawing about 70 milliamps. 0 0.07, so... And I can raise this to, I think, max of 26 volts, uh, just because there's a limit on this voltage regulator. So, and I can dial it down to, I think, about, I think, 3 volts or something. So, yeah, you just hit this switch here, and it turns it off. And this little LED is connected as well, so it's drawing uh, 20 milliamps. So, yeah. So, I'll show you the insides. There we go. Alright. <laughs> That's a lot of wires. <clears throat> but uh, this board actually I think came out of a 22 inch Vizio LCD TV I think I think it was a Vizio but it had a crack screen so it was pretty much useless so I thought I'd take the board and and use it but there's the um, voltage outputs 24 volts ground um, here's your reference 5 volts to uh, turn the power supply on and whatnot so and the fan is being directed right over the top of the uh, high voltage section and whatnot so cools it off but I need to lower that down to 5 volts because I got it hooked up to the uh, 12 volts here I think there's 12 volts yeah so I gotta lower that for sure because none of this stuff gets hot even at like full load I think I can draw a max of around 3 amps out of this motherboard before it just like cuts off like it's like a protection circuit in the in the motherboard somewhere that 
it just cuts it off after like three amps or something to <clears throat> you know prevent damage to the board so there's the voltage regulator and I have the holes here so where air would come up through them chips because them chips get pretty hot after a while too uh, there's my <laughs> ghetto rigged uh, 10 amp fuse I need to put a 5 amp in there but oh well just in case those two get shorted it won't uh, blow up my regulator because it will <laughs> I blew uh, this one up on accident because I didn't have a fuse and I was testing everything and um, it blew up yeah, that chip right there. See, so you want like half the corner missing of it. I didn't have a fuse in there. So I got to I gotta get that changed out to a 5 amp and then change this to 5 volts, the fan. So and I just hot glued really everything in. I've been using it for the past couple weeks, though. So it's been doing pretty good. Yeah, I really should have just shrink tube everything. I might do that as well, since it's actually working good. Might make it a little bit better. So, let's see if I can get a screwdriver here. And actually show you uh, how the voltage regulator works. So what you do is you just turn it on, and then you know you make sure um, you know, you're getting power to the board and everything, and everything's working. And then you would turn this on, but you would leave this one off. You wouldn't want to send power to your device, you know, with 13 volts when it requires only six volts. You know, you blow it up. So what you would do before you turn that, flip that switch, is just come in here with a little screwdriver and turn it down to six volts. You know, something like that, six and a half would probably be fine. Actually, you might want to go a volt or a volt and a half over uh, just because the voltage drop. Um, usually, if something uh, is powered by six volts, usually the charger will output around eight volts instead. So, um, you have to watch out for that. So, if your device isn't powering on for some reason or, you know, has low power or something, then you would, you know, bump up the voltage another, you know, a little bit. So, um, so yeah. I think I made this whole thing for maybe around 20 bucks because I had most of these switches, uh, most of these little LED lights. All I had to do was order, I think, this. I already had the fan. I had to order these connectors and um, and another one of these. Those things were about $10, $12, voltage regulators, and that one blew up, so it cost me a little extra. But yeah, pretty cool.